Hey guys, we're on our way. Um, we're a little bit early. We're gonna need to stop off and get some Carmex or Blistex or something because my mouth is just duh. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up so you can hear this. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him. He's talking. You can see his mouth moving. How cool is that? No. Hey, up here. Little Jack Skellington. And in witch. Oh, look. <laughs> and a witch. Let's, uh, that is awesome. There are still a lot of people here. Apparently they were having a Halloween party for kids because there's a bouncy castle and everything, so. Um, turn your knee. Hello. Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you. Well, my friend said I did a good job, so. And her husband, who actually likes this stuff, so. <laughs> I guess I did a good job. Um,. Yeah, you can still see my lipstick. I actually look so darn young with pigtails. <laughs> I really do. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna pause you when I when I go to get the Carmax or blood stacks or whatever the heck X I can find to get rid of this. Because my Carmax is empty. So I need to replace it. <laughs> I have them on both corners of my mouth. In particular, the right one. Oh! It's painful. Okay. Like I said, it's painful. Um, this guy here actually fixes these up and sells them. It's pretty cool. I told my aunt about it. Um, <laughs> well, everybody told me to have fun. And of course, Daddy's little monster. And I, I uh, did the pants by wearing leggings. Because <coughs> <coughs> there was no way I was wearing these shorts. First of all, there's a scarecrow. Um, first of all, they're too short. They fit. They feel they're a little tight. Like I said, they fit. Um, and they're probably supposed to fit tight. Um, but they're low waisted, which is uncomfortable anyway for me. Look dirty. So, that's what I'm hoping. I still have the whole outfit on that way. So I had a pair of black leggings. Just pull them over the leggings. That works. Well, I do have a jacket on. It's a little cooler now. But like I said, I need to go over get those back to Carmex, something like that. Something to calm my face. My lip. That hurts so unbelievably bad. So. Oh. 
<sighs> Going to the historical society party. Look at how cute you look. <laughs> you know who I am? I'm perfect. Hold on, let me see your shirt. Daddy's little monster. No, you look super cute. Harley Quinn. Ha! <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> well, I was told I look super cute. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna cross down here. For the shape rattle and I'm rolling, but when I cross the street, but it's necessary. There we go. Not quite time. Like I said, I need to go get some less that's kind of something. So. I think my father's haunting me with these. Um, Things, and things I haven't had one since he died. So I think he's haunting me with these. Oh, it is open. Awesome. Terrific. Welcome. Oh, say a spell. So I just need to get that and then I'll come back. It's already open. So that'll be good. Oh. Thank you. Let me go get that. My phone with me to use my debit. It's a desperation need at this point. It hurts so bad. I can't even open my mouth on both sides. I, either side. It's like, ah. Oh. You try to eat in the dead center. Yeah, it's terrible. These are cute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pause you here in a minute because I want to show you something before I do. This must be from when the, the uh, original cement was laid, I would imagine. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause you. nothing. So what are we doing? We're going to have a Halloween party. The ladies in the back, they're the oh. ones that have all the secrets. <laughs> the little witch. That's so cute. As if you recall, we've been in here before. Uh, <clears throat> Still have the trivia up. I love how they do this. What year was the town incorporated? And you just lift it up by the handle. I'm gonna say a woodworker made this. It is so cool. It's an axe from the axe mill. Danger, Will Robinson. Caution. And here's the party. Hello. This is the party it looks like. What? I said this is the party it looks like. Oh, those are for costumes? I hope somebody, I hope people come. Do they usually? Do you do this every year? Do you do this every year? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you do this every year? Hi. Hello. Do you do this every year? No, this is the uh, first. I think we did last year. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we didn't do Halloween last year. Uh, yeah, we did. Well, I hope you get a lot of people. Look at her costume. That is so cool. Yeah, they did. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? 
I remember you coming in the store before. No, no, I meant my costume. Oh. Daddy. Little monster. Yeah, do you know who I am? I think I do, but I can't remember her name. Harley Quinn, the Joker's girlfriend. There you go. Do you guys need any help? Yeah, I'm Angie. Yeah, I've been in here before. I saw your sign and I said, ooh, I have to do that. I've got it. Daddy's little monster. <laughs> Daddy's little monster. Yep, I'm uh, Harley Quinn. She's from Batman. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Harley Quinn. She's from Batman. She was the Joker's therapist, and she became the Joker's girlfriend. Oh, I see. So this is how she became, how she started to look. Oh, people are coming in. I'm hoping people come in here. Yes. Because this is cool. This is really nice. There's little boxes on the. Box Do not. Yep. Free space. Oh, must be playing bingo. Ouch. As I trip over everything. Yeah, these are, um, I think I showed these before, but these are so cool. Um, <coughs> they're toys and salesmen's samples. These are salesmen samples, right? I don't know. And toys. But yeah. Just when you put in so they don't fall over. One under there. There's these little boxes everywhere. Little skeleton. He's cool. Um, they have these covered over so that it can look more Halloween y. There's a skeleton over here. <laughs> oh. oh, look at these. Are these pictures from the mill? Wait. Sixth annual outing. <laughs> I don't know what this is. That one not labeled. That one says, uh, says something in Douglas. Oh, it's police. Okay. It's police. That one up there is police. Oh, wow. Those are pretty cool. But they'll put a donation in. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, perfect. Well, I have one on that table because the table's white. So you'll see it better. I got one of each. What other color? That's all I did was uh, I hope so, too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll look at more. Please. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I save all my coins enough on the table. In a jar. So. Oh, I didn't realize you were taking the Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Haywood Woolen Company, East Douglas, Mass. Established 1878. Town of Douglas to W.A. Schuster. And that might be him. <laughs> right there. Those are the daughters of the owner. Oh, that might be the owner. And this is an example of one of the books. William Wallace. Wow. Tranky's Choice Grocery and Dry Good, and then 
citizens, license League of Douglas. Oh wow. I never saw these before. This is a certificate of war necessity. Wow. So the first game we're gonna play is ghost. And that size is And then the second game we're gonna play is pawn. I'm gonna put this basket front here, towards the door. Well, actually, we're going to put it above the yep. door stand. Yep. Oh, and wow. The box is here. These are old. To get them in the basket. Handwritten sure orders. Look at all this. Yep. Wow. Wow. There is just history everywhere. There is just history everywhere. Okay, here's, here's Winfield Schuster. That's going to be metals and blowing cups off the table. That's going to be metals. That is Winfield Schuster, right there. That is insane. This is... What if a kid comes, he doesn't have a doll, then what? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, I, I, didn't bring any money. I didn't bring any money. I didn't bring any money. Oh, yeah, she will always do us right. Oh. Mr. Wallace, our blogger friend, can have a free food because she does a video blog about us on YouTube. Yep, and I'm doing another one. She does all about us. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's very kind. We appreciate you doing that. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I, I like my spider web on the back door. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I was looking at the small things in the cabinet, and I didn't notice that. What on earth is that? What is that? I can't. Oh, it's an old scale. Yeah, it's a scale. Oh, wow. It was just in the dark. Well, I know someone is having a party up the street. Here's some more old stuff written on the wall. Somebody's having a party up the street with a bouncy house. I know that, so... Um, right on the corner, <coughs> right on the corner of um, Mechanic and B Street, right there. The corner of what street? Mechanic and B Street. Mechanic yeah, by the ball field. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you knew that. <laughs> no, I know the Mechanic and B Street. <laughs> yeah. We had this chair when I was a kid. We had you this chair. Know where B Street is. I, I know what B Street was. I didn't hear what she said. I don't think her hearing's very good. Um, we had that chair when I was a kid. Did you? Yep. <laughs> that pulls out. Yeah. I've seen people find them in storage units and go, what is that? Well, it's a chair, but it's also a step ladder. I had one. My sister has it now. Yeah. That it's a step ladder, and it has like a back on it. And when you fold it down, it's an ironing board. Huh. Well, that's or unique. Or a step stool, or just a seat. Yeah. Well, I remember when I put a nail through my foot. Um, we had it was upstairs in my uncle's house, and I'm pulling it out, stepping up, sitting there, and it was a great height for my aunt to clean out my foot. <laughs> uh, yep. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> I love that you kept the old stuff that he wrote on the walls. That little bit of history, you know. These are old chairs. Oh, that's a cash register. These are old chairs. This is more stuff that's been written. Now, guys, if you can't see it, I'm sorry. You know, I'm doing the best I can. Um, look at that. I just so much stinking history. And then there's a beautiful cabinet back, back there. But they use this. 
and my nose just doesn't quit. Signs of Union Veterans. Oh, man. Now, who is that? Is that Ian Gaines? I believe it is. I know, that's Mr. Schuster's poster. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen that. And who is Lucius J. Marsh? He was the kind of unofficial town historian, and he was also the oh. town clerk. Oh, okay. Way, way back. Yes. That is so kind of that. <coughs> so many awards. Yeah, I saw over there the the special um, permits he had to to drive his vehicles during the war. That is neat. Um, Wallace this is the lumber company, which is probably where they have that one open to that page. And synonymous with the town of Douglas since 1889, when Mr. Edward N. Jenkins, or Jenks, purchased this very store, you stand in, along with his wife Ella, his son Edward and his daughters Malma and Helen, the Jenks family lived in the upstairs quarters of the store. They diligently worked hard taking care of the needs of our town during economic depression and World War I. And when Melma and Helen inherited the store in 1924, after the death of their father, they took up the mantle and continued to take care of Douglas through the Great Depression, Prohibition, World War II, the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, and all the way into Nixon's presidential administration in 1972. The store stayed in the family for 83 years until the sisters donated it to the Douglas Historical Society in 1972. The ledger featured below is from the year 1937 that depicts the purchases of Mr. William Wallace. More ledgers like this can be seen on the highest shelves that line the store. The years span 1859 to 1941. Holy freaking hell. <coughs> Excuse me. And look at that. This is old horse tag. The Bay State Trail Riders Association, 1973. Wow. That, I think, is for bread. If I'm not mistaken, I can get up there. That, um, if I'm not mistaken, is for bread. These, interestingly, are, what are they go on top of what are called dry sinks. They're actually um, wash basins. You'd take the pitcher, you'd fill it with warm water that you would have to boil to make warm. You would pour it in the basin on top of the dry sink, and you would cleanse yourself because they didn't have running water. And then when everything was clean and dry, you would put the pitcher inside the basin, and it would be decorative sitting on top of the dry sink. And look at this. This is quite a drawing. That is a... Wow says Great Northern Paper Company side reaching harness. Oh this is an old advertisement for a for a horse harness. Holy cow. And then it goes on to talk about other stuff. List of parts. Wow. An additional it tells you how much everything costs. Any additional charges for additional accoutrement for the harnesses? That is wholly awesome. That is really cool. There's so much stuff in this place. It really, really is. Legos. <laughs> oh, that's neat. It looks like, uh, what kind of Legos is that? Mm battling some kind of bear. <laughs> oh, I never lose it. See, this is what I was talking about. That's how it would sit on your dry sink. <coughs> oh, 
all I could have given if I could have those dry sink to these guys. I didn't even think of it. Dang it. Ugh. My lipstick is coming off, I have a feeling. Oh, my goodness. I hope the kids come. It would be a sad evening if the kids didn't show up. Yeah, the pictures are so cool. So cool. Look at the old books. Some of them are not as old, but... Life as a Klansman. Yikes. No thank you. <laughs> Here is A Century of Dolls. Oh. Now that's a book that's right up my alley. Right there. A Century of Dolls. Let's see if I can... I don't know if I can bring it in as of the light, but... And then there's President of the United States. Look at the size of that book. And I'm sure it doesn't have all of them. This is a calendar from 1936. Max of a lot of the cube. That one's 47 persons. Look at that. Fresh blonde bread. Oh, look at this. This is a ringer. Don't get your hand caught in there. Oh my goodness, look at these vacuums. I think they're vacuums. I think that's what they are. Oh. Oh, God, oh, she laughs. Check it out. Do it again. One more. Yep. <laughs> there she goes. Oh. oh, that's from the 250th, that? that sign, that's from the anniversary, the 275th anniversary. Yes. I have a book from that. I have that book. Uh, the 250th? The, two, the 275th, I think? The 275th. Yeah. Yeah, that was yep. last year. Yep. Oh, no, then I must have the 250th, because I have the book, but the book is older than that. So I must have the 250th book? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Why, did they have a book for that one, too? Oh, they had the my names. They had. That's cool. I definitely want to join. You can take one of those. Oh, this is all the information about the town. Oh, that's cool. And then, I think, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. It's right here. No, no. Yeah. Oh no, that's your oh, no, feedback. No, but she's got one. You have one. Okay. Yeah. So, whatever you're interested in, if you want to partake in things. Yeah, I do. Um, we'd be more than happy to include you. Yeah, that's the right thing. Okay. Oh, I would love that. My grandmother was born here in 1912. My great 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 grandparents were living here. So, who was your grandmother? Um, Angelina Hemingway. Hemingway. <laughs> yeah, except her family was basically French. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, they're getting two story. <laughs> Thank you.
That's neat. There's lights in there. Oh, they're little jack-o'-lanterns. Timeline. Let's see. 1833, the original two-story frame was built by Mr. Balcom. Uh, 1839, Gardner Chase bought the store, made additions, and built the barn. 1889, Edward and Jenks bought the store, made additions, designed a skylight. Ian Jenks passed away on oh, 1924. Passed away, and his daughters Helen, <laughs> oh, and my Alma. Mialma inherited the store in 1972. Hel Helen and Mialma donated the store to the Douglas Historical Society in memory of their father. <coughs> That's awesome. You know, I had my great grandmother's <coughs> dry sink, and I was wondering what to do with it. I wanted to donate it. I should have donated it here. Who did you donate it to? Um, I don't remember where it went. Um, I believe it ended up going, my friend took it to a dump where she could put it in like a shed where yeah. somebody could take it and yeah. do something with it. But, yeah, I, I these are all the books. Look at... Those are the ledges. Yeah. Every, everybody that bought something, it's recorded. Those are the ledges. All the way around to there. That is insane. some that get on up there, I don't well, wet because we had a leak. Oh, I hope you were able to save them. Uh, I'm not sure. 1942. We used to leave one out so that people could look at it. Yeah, there's one in the case in that room. Yeah, but I mean out on the table, on oh. the counter. Yeah, my... 1921. Is that a journal? That's cool. Speaking of which, in here are uh, they? Oh, they're on the, they're on the bed. Mm. Yeah, they are. Sorry, guys. Look. He looks like the Count from Sesame Street. <laughs> are those journals? Those are pretty. Oh, cool. How much are they? Um, I brought these for you guys. These are my card. Oh, okay. I have my both of my YouTubes on them. <laughs> I like it. Oh, let me get it on. Okay. <laughs> and then you can get me out there sitting. Okay. You guys are great dressing up. I love it. I'm Harley Quinn. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Here you go. That's, that's my card. From, so you can get the channel where I vlog is on this card, as well as my Missing Kids channel. So... <laughs> The channel where I vlog is on here, as well as my Missing Kids channel. Oh. I hope little kids come. Who is that? Oh, that's a wolf. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Yeah. yeah, she does. I think you're going to scare the kids away. <laughs> I scared a boy. No, this one. I was walking and I asked you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't dare wear the bottoms without oh, leggings wow. because they're uh, kind of short. Hello. 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 Okay. <coughs> yeah, oh, if I wear the bottoms without <laughs> leggings, they're too short. Gotta shut the door. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it's gone. Oh my goodness. There's a witch with her eyeballs. <laughs> In the cauldron. That is so cool. Oh, okay. Come see what there is. So how much are those journals? 
Um, I get one of those from my nephew. They should have it signed. But they did. And I think it's that. Oh, okay. I lost Ursula. Oh, Ursula. How much of the journals? Yeah, I heard her. Oh, okay. But I don't know if you would take it. But then if she becomes a member, she gets a discount. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I definitely will fill that out and bring it back. Then we'll have to ask for patents because she will be claiming left and right. <laughs> That's funny. Look at the old little kids' clothes. Boys wool and camel hair suit with matching pants, hat, and jacket. Look at that. That had to be hot to wear, though. It's a little girl's dress. It's a toddler dress. Notice it didn't specifically say little girl because, well. Oh my gosh, that is a sewing machine. That is wild. That is a sewing machine. Check that out. Oh, look at that lamp. And this is the um, baseball stuff I was telling you about. We didn't get to see, um, I don't think, on the uh, cheapers. I hope people come. This old jewelry from the store. It's amazing. It is amazing. I mean, vital records to the year 1849. That is amazing. Vital records of the town of Massachusetts. The Civil War visual history from Smithsonian. Wow, look at that. Civil War trivia book. How <laughs> Walker, the whiskey guy, we talked about him. <coughs> Out front, that's where I saw it. Lisa is really upset with the upstairs. What the Halloween show? Huh? What did they sing at Halloween? For the Tony Winchie. No. Yeah. I don't and think so. Don't yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's not the Tony Winchie. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, Douglas. Another black one on my leggings. Yeah. I'll tell you three kids. <laughs> but then I was looking at my leggings and they're kind of see through. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep this. Yeah, through. well. I decided that I had to wear leggings with my bottoms because they're they're a little short and they're a little short up here. They're the <laughs> puzzles. I said no, I will freeze. Plus, yeah, yeah. I'm not going on public like that. Thank you. You know you know who I am, right? I love Jean. Did you have your mask down yes. when you had your picture taken? I don't have a mask. You love what? You love what? No, I love the movie hat. I haven't oh. read any of the comics, I but I love the Suicide so Squad. Yeah, yeah, so you know I'm Harley Quinn. <laughs> yes, it's great. Yeah, you did a good job. Thank you. I was I practiced it one time before I did it to make sure I could. So that's really smart. Yeah. I didn't figure she'd be that difficult, so. Well, you do what you love. Yep, and I did. Uh, I did pink hair. Well, sort of pink, because I, I don't have blonde hair, so it wouldn't have mattered if I did the pink and the blue. You wouldn't <laughs> have seen it. So I did like a pink. That's just a, a barely there pink. So that's all right. That's all right. As long as you like it. Yep, and you gotta remember when you're looking at it that you have to do the opposite side, the opposite color, because mm -hmm. when you flip it this way. Then you then you match. Mm -hmm. So that I had to remember, and I had to remember you put the blue with the blue side and pink with the pink side. So uh, where are the kids? Darn it! <laughs> this stinks. Yeah, I noticed it was dripping. Yeah, but it, it should have been okay. <laughs> Boiling eyeballs and skulls. And a... Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's that lights down cool. there to make it look like fire. Hmm. I'd have to get another container to... Well, you know what? It's not even worth it right now because, see, unless the water's hey. going to be a couple inches above it. Yeah, but I see it now. You yeah. just moved it and it, it made it bubble up. <coughs> You're a ghost, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't understand. Where are the kids? The library would have been a good place to advertise it. Yeah, you can put flyers or they have... Um, oh, you mean inside? Yeah. Yep. Halloween party! Is that what it is? Yep. I'm sitting there going, it's that time already, Trisha Trisha. Is that one of your cars? Pardon? I said, is that one of your cars? That seems good. Oh. I was hoping you guys wouldn't look at me funny because I dressed up, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, that was unfortunately. Oops. Nobody seems to be showing up, which sucks. These, this is old yarn. Old yarn. Yeah, it is still getting a little chilly out.
Where's my pink? I can't even see my pink. Guys, I can't even see my pink. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to join this thing. Um, oh. I gotta do that. It's awesome. Yeah, there it is. There's the pink. <laughs> In it, but maximum maximum occupancy 58. And that is a 1940 calendar. Oh, shut up. That is a 1940 calendar. There. There's actually several calendars there, but I can't see what they are. 40, 43. Is there a 44? I wonder. Let's see. It's this one. This one's old. That one's 1913. Okay. Uh, there's a 43. Another 43. 36. Can't tell what that one is. Wow. Wow. Guys, if you're coming through town when this place is open, do come in. Uh, this is amazing. Oh my god. That's from the Polar Company of Worcester. That is amazing. Musket bullet mold. Wow. Those are little muskets that were made in that mold. That polar soda siphon. Um... That is a biscuit cutter. There's tools of all sorts. Drafting tools. Um, this bottle with a picture in it. Locally donated artifacts. Yep, I still don't see mine, but that's okay. I like that. <laughs> well, that would explain why it's leaky, wouldn't it? <laughs> that is not real. <laughs> Looks like it, but it's not. I just saw someone renovate one. Uh, we store one of those cutters. That's awesome. That's in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, this is the original store sign. It's amazing the condition this stuff is in, you know? The perfect patent flower, Bridal Veil vale, Central Milling, Buffalo, New York. There's, oh, this is water damage. Yikes. Um, but luckily it's framed, so it's safe from any further damage. Do not touch the artifacts. Yeah. We won't be touching the artifacts. What is that? There's a tree in there. Okay, that's odd. What is that? Is that like a porch? Or a grain cellar of some sort or something? I don't know what that is. These are all... What is that? Oh my goodness. Nylons. <laughs> Look how tiny they are. And it says there were two pairs in this tiny little box. Wow. And look at this. This is a washing machine. It's hard to believe there are two pairs of nylons in that tiny little box. These are old dyes. I think I showed you these before. Look at the mason jars. Oh, my shoulder. Ouch. Yep, that's 1936. And oh, you got brought in here, did you? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, 
Oh, the lights. Lights. This is lights. Uh, I always told my kids, watch where you're going, not where you went. All right, guys. I'm going to go. Hey guys, we're gonna play a game, so I'm gonna let you go. But um, and end the vlog. Have a wonderful night. Um, and I'll post this when I get home. Bye bye. Please click like and subscribe.